So happy Monday. How are you all doing it today? So my name is Sunday Gardner, the online travel boss. For those of you that are new to me, welcome to our weekly live. I come to you every Monday night now. I come to you every week talking, launching, and operating a profitable and successful travel business. So tonight's topic is how to build a community of raving fans. And what I really want you to do now is when you think of your group, I want you to think of it as your peeps, right? Not just random people that follow you, not friends of friends, but your peeps. And so we're going to talk about today, like, how do you do that? Like, how do you create a community, one, not just a group because somebody said it was the good thing to do. I just told you it's the cat's meow, but why is the cat? Why is it the cat's meow? What can you do? to not only have this group, but utilize it as an asset and monetize it, right? That's that's really the reason why people think it's the cat's meow, because if you do it well, you can make a good, good amount of money um, for your travel business utilizing your group. Now, how many of you guys have Netflix? Like I just watched a couple weeks ago, Lulu, like have you guys, have you, do you guys know what Lulu is, the, 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 the tights company? So when I started in the online space back in 2016, 15, one of those years, right? I remember, so I used to be a general Facebook ads coach. So I was teaching people how to run Facebook ads and teaching them how to do that. And I, you know, so I would attract them. And some of the people that I attract, attracted were some Lulu uh, people. Like, so do you guys know who Lulu is? Like, so I, I just watched this documentary a couple of weeks ago. It was last, it was a couple of weeks ago. And so this, 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 this documentary was on this, this company called Lulu. And they sold, they, I, I think they still sell, they sell tights. They sell leggings, like colorful leggings, all sorts of leggings. And I remember a Lulu person, like I remember her still to this day because I watched the, the, the training. I mean, I watched the documentary and she reached out to me. She's like, can you teach me Facebook ads? And I'm like, yes, I can absolutely teach you Facebook ads. LulaRoo, that's the name of it, LulaRoo. And she was like, can, I, can you teach me Facebook ads? I'm like, yeah, I can teach you Facebook ads. And she was like, I was like, so, you know, there's there was a sort of criteria that I looked at for businesses before I would uh coach them um in particular if i did one-on-one -on -one coaching and the big stipulation was she couldn't do she couldn't do the program with me or she couldn't get training from me because they prevented her how she could market but i tell you this long story because in this documentary they talk about the success of like the rave i don't i mean i don't remember if you guys remember back in 2018 like and and I see it now too with like jewelry parties where people like they have these groups and they're selling their jewelry and these Lulu consultants were selling their leggings and some of the consultants were making phenomenal money, right? Because they were selling to their friends and family and they were having selling parties like directly in people's homes, right? But that's like a good example of the power of a group and how to monetize the group. And the reason why it was so successful is because the people who were buying from the representatives, and this goes for groups in general, but I, I use this as an example. The people who are in the community can relate to the buyer. They can relate to the seller. They can relate to the seller. They get to see the seller's face. She gets to show them her wares. She gets to talk about it. She creates a sense of urgency. She creates the perfect storm of buying, right? And that is what the power of a group is. And you don't have to just have a physical product like a legging to create that storm. Does that make sense? Like everybody, you literally, if, a, if you do a group properly, you can create this perfect storm of buyers that are interested in your travel business and what you have to say. But you have to be strategic about that, right? So this is what we're going to talk about today is how do we create this community of people that are waiting to hear from us, show up to hear from us. And then when we run promotions or we, we, 
we do something that gives them a reason to buy, they buy. Does that make sense? Like, are, would y'all like want to know about how to do that? Like, is that the reason why you created your group? It's so that you can create a central location, not only a central location, but literally you get to control the narrative. I am sure many of you are a part of groups, right? Maybe one of you all, maybe somebody told you that you should search Facebook and look for groups to join, right? And the reason that is, is because you were hoping to find prospective travel buyers in those groups and you somehow get close to them so they will buy from you, right? But what if you can control that, attract the type of client that you want, and then control the narrative, right? That's what we want to do with communities, right? So, but before we do that, let's just talk about like, why, why? I mean, I, I just told you why, like we just talked about why. Lulu is a good example. If you haven't seen that documentary, see it. Because it really, what it hit home for me was, because a lot of a lot of you all out there in the, in the internet, right? were recruited by multi-level networking marketing companies and their product isn't leggings the product is travel right so you joined on right for the same type of language that lulurs lularuers i don't know what they call themselves lularuers did right is because they wanted to leave a legacy they want to get financial freedom right so i'm not going to go into the whole mlm but it was really close to home because not only did i meet a couple of lularuers several years ago, like I know that the market that I work with, that they, it is predominantly women. I know that it's predominantly women that want to work from home, excel, make extra income so that they can bring home money, do, you know, le you know, legacy is a, a common word that I leave. Financial freedom is another common word, but it, it kind of, kind of hit home for me. So if you haven't seen that documentary, I totally recommend it because I really, really loved it. Um, but here's the thing. This is a product that that is, you know, it's better than leggings, right? Tra travel is better than leggings, but it's a it's a product that can be viable if you know how to do it. So we're not going to talk about operations today. What we're going to talk about is how to get your client in your community. And so why do you want to do that, right? Because here's the thing. Just like the little rewers, right? The reason why these these women were making so much money inside of their little buy groups and buy sales is because people buy from people that they like. They buy from people that they know and they trust, right? Your product is not $39.99. Your product normally is probably, you know, anywhere from 800 to multiple thousands of dollars, right? So your no like and trust factor needs to be super high with your prospective clients for them to be able to be comfortable to pull the trigger or go with some place that they already feel comfortable, like Priceline.com, Expedia.com, all of these sort of do-it-yourself places that are familiar to them. Does that make sense? Like familiarity and liking and trusting is a, a huge component of the buying process, right? So when you create this group and you do it properly, you create an environment of people that will get to know, like, and trust you. So when you do have something to offer that they're interested in, that they want, they need, they'll buy from you, right? Because you've already positioned yourself as that go-to person. Does that make sense? All right. Okay. So here's the thing. You know, I, I, I always take notes. So I'm looking down at my notes. And so the gr a group is the quickest way to increase that no like trust factor, right? So you may have heard it like KLT, like in a sense for no like and trust, right? People buy from people that they know easier. Now, don't get me wrong. I bought from strangers from, from before, but I will tell you that they've done something quickly for me to believe that they can satisfy whatever I am interested in, whatever I desire or whatever I need, right? So if I buy from a stranger, they have satisfied my, my internal buy mechanism, right? Means that I believe that they can solve the problem that I'm looking to buy for, right? And that's usually in everything that I buy, particularly when it comes to training, 
and that kind of stuff is that I feel like they can solve my problem. They can get me an answer quicker, right? So for you as a travel professional, what do your clients want, right? So let's talk about how you build a community of raving fans. And so the first tip I have for you in terms of building that community is have a reason for people to join your community, right? What's the reason? So you told me the reason you created the community, but what's the reason that people should join the community? Does that make sense? Like we often start our businesses and we market from our vantage point, meaning we are looking to make money and we're only thinking about ourselves. So when we talk, when we communicate, when we talk about our business, we are only doing it from the objective of let me make the sale, not let me bring value, right? And so if you have a group and you don't have a purpose for the group, there's not a, and, and I don't mean, well, because I want the group to sell travel. Like that's not the reason, right? And your friends and family, they're going to join the group because when they're nosy too, they think they're going to get a hookup and they hope that you're going to give them the best hookup inside of this group, right? But I'm talking about a really strong reason for people to join, right? So I just, I joined this guy's community um, uh, a couple of months ago and his Facebook group, and it, and he's not a travel professional. I do not believe this guy's a travel professional, but he's got a community and inside of this community, he's got multiple thousand of people in this community. And what he does is he sells a course and he teaches people on how to fly really cheap, like really high, how to like literally fly either first class or business class on the, on the cheap, like on the cheap. So why do people join that group? They join that group because they want to learn how to, how to, how to fly on the cheap. Like I want to go to Japan in first class, right? I don't want to go to Japan and coach, right? I don't want to go on an 18 hour trip and coach. I want to go first class, be fully reclined. And I want some lady giving me champagne every time I think about it, right? So the purpose of his group has his his perspective buyer in mind. Does that make sense like to you? So what's your why? So for those of you that have groups, what did you create the group for? I started with that question and you said because you heard it was a good thing, but you don't have a real reason. And what you need is a reason for people to join, right? And and if you're new to me, you've not heard this, but if you can create a group around your niche, right, that will then attract people who need that niche item, right? So let me give you an example. Like, simple example, everybody can relate to this usually, is an example, the example is weddings, right? If you create a group around weddings, right, people who opt in or join that group, what do they want to know about? Well, probably how to have a wedding <laughs> out of town, right? That's what they're going to want to know about. What is your group and what is its attraction system? Why do people join? So you first need to make sure that the group is attracting the right person by giving them a reason to join. So, right, so that's the first one. Have a reason for people to join the group, right? Don't just create a group, slap your business name on it and be like, bam, that's it. Let me invite my friends and family. You will drive yourself insane because ultimately you won't have the type of buyers that you want inside of your group you're probably not showing up, providing that group some value um, that is of interest to them. So again, people want to buy from people who they are interested in, right? So create a group that is around an interest, right? Or they want to buy or be a part of something that they themselves want or desire, right? So create a group around somebody's wants or somebody's desires, or create a group around a need, right? And so you may be thinking to yourself, well, how do I do that for travel, right? That's that's <laughs> that's the secret, right? How are you going to create a group around a particular need, a desire, or a want, right? So first start with your niche. I'm not gonna talk about travel niche today because I've spent the last couple of weeks on these lives talking about niche. So if you're looking for how to create a niche or what a niche is, you may wanna search the group in previous videos, uh, just search the word niche. And I've had several uh, videos around that. But if you create a group around your niche, 
then that will give people a reason to buy. So number two is give them a reason to stay. Does that like make sense, right? So if you create this group, you don't show up, you don't give value, why would anybody stay? Why would anybody listen? Why would anybody get to know you? Why would anybody do anything, right? So again, as a marketer, we start our businesses thinking about us right? We don't think about the clients and how we can solve our clients problems, right? We are in a COVID environment and people are chomping at the bit to travel. And if nothing else, you show up in your group, talk about COVID as it relates to travel and what your clients need to know. I mean, just COVID alone is enough topics, right? To talk about, but why should they stay? What is it that you have to offer your prospective group members, your community, right? People love a cause. People love to rally around something, right? Using this guy's group who has created a group full of people who want to try, who want to fly on the cheap, right? What do you think he's selling? He's not selling airline tickets. He's selling a course to teach people how to discover and get cheap tickets. He's not selling travel right? But he's got a whole bunch of people who want to travel in his group. Does that make sense? And the value that he brings inside of this group is the fact that I can teach you the tricks that you need to know so you can do it yourself and travel for cheap. Does that make sense? Like, I think it's ingenious because the guy's not even a travel professional. He's a guy who understands people. He understands, particularly in this time, in this time and this era that we are in, people are at home and they've got a lot of time and learning is what people are doing. Like if you have an online course about your niche area, like if there's anybody in the wedding destination space, I swear you like the, like brides. I, and I say this all the time, brides will spend like oodles and oodles of money. Right. And there are so many do it yourselves or furs out there. Right. Teach people what you know about this travel business. Teach people on how to do it themselves and do it and be protected, right? You'll sell a course just there, right? But so the second is really around what do you do to keep people interested and solve their problems or address their needs or wants or desires, right? What is your group doing that addresses that, right? So for many of you who said that you have groups, let's talk about it. Like, what is your group? What are you doing? What do you talk about? What do you show up about? Or are you just showing up in the group and just drop in packages, itineraries? I got this for sale, I got that for sale, I got this for sale, right? What are you doing inside of the group that keeps people interested? What I can tell you about social media in, in the, the several years, and, and let me tell you, I was the first person to like be anti-social media. Like I was like, I don't have time for this. Like I'm trying to build businesses. I don't have time to be on social media, but what I can tell you about social media is you can absolutely make money on the platform. I'm not talking about sliding in people's inboxes and harassing the hell out of them blindly without cause. What I'm talking about is you create a, a, an environment for people to connect, right? You create a community of people around a particular thing that they have in common or a particular thing that they want to fight in common, but that's the commonality, right? People, particularly since we are so isolated right now, even with COVID, have this stronger desire to connect, right? And groups allow them to do that, right? It's groups of people that share this common interest, common, common whatever, and you as the group leader, because that's what you are if you have a group, you are a group leader, right? Need to bring them together and create the glue that keeps them bound. Does that make sense? The, the one thing that you don't want to do is you create all this value, but you're creating the value to the wrong person, right? You don't want, you don't want that, right? So we want to make sure you're the right people in the group. You're attracting the right people, you're giving the people the reason to join, right? And it doesn't mean you have to bribe them. Like you don't have to bribe them. You have to give them money. You have to like run prizes, right? You want the right person for the type of value that you're going to bring to the table. And so that would be my thing is number two is making sure that you have a value proposition and that you're showing up bringing that value consistently. 
All right. So number three, and I'm I'm gonna like go like soon because I'm I'm really burning up here. But number three is, but don't do this prematurely. So before I start and say this, I want you to start with number three. If you have a group, right? And for those who join the program this weekend, do not start working on this because I've got some other things to get you set up before we do it. But just in general, here is what you need to do for your group. You've got a group. You have no other direction. You don't know what to do. I want you to spend the next four weeks. I want you to commit to four weeks with defining what value you're going to show up inside of your group with, right? What is it that your clients, your prospective clients need to know? What do they need to be talking about? What are, what are the, the how-tos they need? What is the information they need? Who are you? Why did you create your business to uniquely solve their problems? Why are you the cat's meow when it comes to the travel business? That's what I want you to spend the next month. So the month of October, I want you spending that showing up in your group. Now, I don't care who's in your group. I just want you to get in the habit of doing that, like showing up and creating value. Because if you can start to attract, you one, you create value and you get in the cadence of creating value, then number three becomes easy, right? Give them a reason to buy, right? And most of you guys start with the buying activity instead of the value and the reason to join. Does that make sense? So I don't want you to start with number three and like, I'm giving them a reason to buy. I'm going to put together this package and I'm going to have people buy. No, I want you to do the flip side of that. I want you to figure out what is the reason someone should join your group, your community? What kind of raving fan do you want? What do they desire, need, or want, or are interested in? Create a group around that and show up for a month, giving them value. Does that make sense? And then number three is around give them a reason to buy. If you can do number one and two right, when you run promotions and you give them a reason to buy, people will buy like that. Does that make sense? Right? So those are your top three tips for, and I lost my video. Those are your top three tips on how to build a community of raving fans inside of your group, Facebook group, your community. It doesn't matter what platform that you're in because it's all the same in terms of connection with your clients, right? Or your prospective clients. People want to be a part of something that they can relate to, they're interested in, give them a reason to join give them some value inside of it, right? And I'm not talking lip service value. I'm talking like real value, right? Anyway, so I'm glad that this was helpful. I will be here next Monday talking all things launching, operating, and marketing a successful and profitable travel business. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. And you guys have a spectacular week. Hey, we are at the conclusion of September. These are the last few days of chapter nine. So when I come back to you, we'll be in chapter 10. And damn it, it's almost the wrap for 2021. Super excited. You guys have a great evening. Talk to you soon.